offer an individual one-to-one um, -one guidance and support to all School of Health students and they also include nursing and midwifery students. Well, initially it was to address any non-academic concerns our students had, so those that aren't directly related to the assessments that they have to complete for the course. Um, they tend to include financial issues, they tend to include personal issues and also any residential issues that our students have. I think, um, especially in the first year, finances is a huge issue. Um, many of our students are solely dependent on the bursary. Other common ones, especially again in the first year, are personal reasons. Um, what we find is when the students first go out into placement, those who perhaps haven't had a healthcare background, haven't worked in the healthcare setting, do struggle with the emotional aspects of a placement. Um, death and dying is of course one of those and very often a student will come to me and just want to sit and talk about the experience that they've had. Um, I just tend to listen to them and then if necessary we do use our counselling service through the university or through the trust in order to support them further. I think um, the way it's developed, because I wasn't a student advisor before, the way I've tried to make it develop is to by seeing them at open days, seeing them then when they come to at induction with us and just being a somebody who's stable throughout those three years that they could turn to with any queries and that's what I tend to get across to them is that I might not know the answer but I'll know somebody who does so if they want to come to me um, then they can ask me anything at all and I'll help them as much as I can. Our academic staff members teach the students and they provide assessment support but very often there are external issues such as personal issues if somebody lost um, a family member during the course they'd have pastoral support from their personal tutor but sometimes they just need that ongoing support that I can provide. One of the issues that I get especially with mature students is that they haven't studied for a, a period of time. So for them coming to university is very daunting. They may have had the healthcare experience but they won't have had the academic experience and guidance from college etc. So when they come and they're nervous about the assignments that they have to complete, many of them do come to me and I think it's just reassuring them that we've got study skills advisors, we've got an excellent learning centre and just putting their nerves at ease. And once they hand in that first piece of assessment, that's when things tend to go quite well for them and they build confidence. Um, we also get dyslexic students um, and again they have similar issues where they don't think they're going to be able to cope with the academic side of the course and very often that is not the case because we have a student enabling centre and they put in excellent support for our students and again that just um, enables them to complete the course. I enjoy the continuous contact with students, seeing them from when they're anxious and upset about something to just talking to them and realising that the issue really isn't that big and that it can be resolved and then to see the end result of it being resolved and them happy again and them committed to their course and just the progression that we see from the students from year to year is just fantastic. If you do make the decision to embark on the nursing or midwifery programme, ensure that you're well prepared for it, look into financial aspects of it, but if you do decide to make that decision and come onto the course, then the benefits will far outweigh any challenges you experience.